So many kids are struggling, so many kids are in pain. Kids cannot learn if they are hurting, if they're in trauma. We as educators need reminders about connecting with kids, forging relationships with kids. It's important for our office as we support all districts to give this kind of foundational level of support and training to staffs. So this week is five days of really intensive training for 10 districts. What is our system of support? What happens first? When that's not enough, what happens next? When that's not enough, what happens next? We're talking about a tier two intervention designed for youth at risk for various problems in school. So whether that's behavioral problems, academic problems, or attendance challenges, the idea is to have a quick, simple intervention that youth can get right away at the early signs of risk instead of waiting too long to start to intervene. Implementation science. Implementation science, those are the words. If we're proactive with students, if we give them the intervention, if we have the systems in place to start, then we don't have the behavior problems and we don't have the lower attendance. We're looking at positive supports for all students and then students who are not responding, we're responding to them. Instead of just, oh, it's just typical behavior, let's refer them to the right person so they can tell the difference. With Ed Code 215, Youth Mental Health First Aid is going to be a mandated training for a certain amount of staff at every school from grade 7 through 12. The teachers, the staff aren't diagnosing, they're just putting them in the right direction to get help. We're, we're not going to cure them, but if we can support them and get them the right resources, that they can do much better academically. I'm a firm believer that clarity precedes competence, that somebody needs to understand why it is that we're doing something. Uh, not only understands why, but they're clear about why we're doing it. And uh, that clarity will ultimately allow them to see what the bigger picture is moving forward. After this week of training, I feel like I'm better prepared in my work to build relationships with my colleagues and it has changed the way that I will interact with both the staff and the students. Kind of some of the examples you heard of like giving feedback, staying on top of it, not really letting things go. So I think the big message from today is it's possible to design simple, evidence-based interventions that we can deliver to large numbers of youth and it's worth it. Thank you.